It's far too early for any knockout punches to be landed, but defeat may have a mildly concussive effect. Manchester United's team is indicative of the fact that next Wednesday Juventus are here in the Champions League. Giggs, Sheringham and Solskjaer are fit, but only on the bench. So the lineup is that which started at Bolton on Saturday. Chelsea are the Premiership's chameleon team. Only a modest three changes tonight. Mark Hughes returns to partner Zola. Di Matteo has a broken finger. Andy Myers replaces Michael Dubry. And there's a debut for Frenchman Bernard Lambourd. Born on the Ivory Coast, he only became a professional at 22. Four years on, he's Ruud Hullet's 13th and latest foreign recruit to the Chelsea Revolution, signed from Bordeaux. Hullet is a substitute this evening, and he's looking to extend his club's remarkable record here of just two defeats in their last 22 visits. Some teams arrive at this footballing coliseum already beaten in their own minds. Certainly not the case with Chelsea. ...away from Myers. Scholes is in the middle, and it may still fall for Poborski. Scholes! Now Wise. Lose for the Chelsea captain. Mark Hughes. Welcomed back to his former home by Roy Keane. Poyet amongst those jockeying for position, it's Dennis Wise. And I think that might have been going wide anyway, but Schmeichel took no chances. Yeah, it was skidding. It was... And Zola nearly profited, it's Poyet on the follow-up. But the presence of Mark Hughes unsettled the Manchester United backline. It was a great pass through, he almost stumbled into his stride, it just popped up in front of Schmeichel, could easily have dropped at the feet of Zola, but Poyet following up just put it into the side netting. Way through. Well, the Somites, well struck, and an own goal! Henningberg! A Scandinavian calamity! Lasso's drive, spilt by Schmeichel, and Berg just couldn't get out of the way. Well, it was a sort of low shot you think Schmeichel would normally try and hold on to. He actually almost punched it away, and it just ricocheted off and in Berg. I mean, it was a good strike by Graham Lasso, but a, a soft one, and I think Berg not expecting it to rebound off Schmeichel quite as it did. Caught a little late by Lasso, and it was well spotted by referee Willard. What Chelsea must do is keep their concentration because uh, you know, they went ahead against Arsenal, conceded a goal very soon after. And the next few minutes, they've really got a mark in. Six in the box, one outside for Beckham, and the punch from De Hoy. Ames. Zola. Oh, that's a gorgeous pass to Mark Hughes! The way Zola crafted that and just curled it beyond the reach of two or three defenders and into the path of Mark Hughes. Well, it was a breathtaking move, wasn't it? Poyet, Zola, Hughes, three touches and a good save by Smoke. And he held on to that one rather than the goal where he punched it away. Keane has pulled wide. Too much even for Keane, who then had a little kick at Poyet. And it's a yellow card for Roy Keane. Right. Scholes is with him, this must be the equaliser. And it's Paul Scholes. Graham Lasso has raced across to the referee's assistant, claiming offside. And he's now been joined by half of the Chelsea team. It was just a question of whether Cole would score himself. He timed the pass well. But now Chelsea have lost their discipline, and even Ruud Hullet, the coolest of managers, is trying to prove a point. Phil Jossel 
in the referee's assistant from Newark is the centre of attention and this is indeed a rare sight as Rude Hullet is ushered away from the touchline well it was a close decision I, I think as the ball was played if anyone it's the right back Paul Hughes who's playing him on and if he's level he's onside it's two or three times they've, they've diced with it Look, the argument is for me why do you have to play offside why not just stay with the runner yeah, Chelsea in this flat back four are taking too many risks with that offside ploy. They did it against Arsenal, and it's a chance you don't have to take. He met that perfectly, Gary Pallister. Now Keenan Zola. That looked on like a foul by Zola on Keane. And then it was a foul by Zola on Butt, and then Dennis Wise seemed to lash out at David Beckham. Maybe those tempers haven't calmed down. There was just an arm stuck out in David Beckham's face after they'd met shoulder to shoulder. I think that was more accurate, wasn't it? And although you said he did well, it's hit the woodwork. I think if he headed it down, it was a goal. Well, Dennis Wise is now being called across by the referee, who saw that arm lash out. And if this is a yellow card, which it is, it's Wise's fifth of the season and it means that he is only the second player in the Premiership to face a three-match ban. First yeah. That was close as well, I'm not sure Zola, Hughes might have been. Let's see when the ball is played, yes he is. In fact, the officials, despite the minute examination that we've given to several incidents, are doing pretty well. To Zola, Mark Hughes is being marshalled by Palliser, it's Poyet and he's miskicked. Real chance for Chelsea there. Don't think it was a great as a pass. I think an early one across the face of the goal to Hughes. Poyet certainly miskicked it, but it was always behind him. Beckham. Lovely turn. And a return from Neville. Two in the box becoming three. This is Cole. Poyet to Zola. Away from Berg. Now what about Pallister? Still it's Zola. Here's Dan Petrescu. One touch. Second touch is the shot. And he showed too much of it to Schmeichel. Should he have hit it first time? He was chief among the appealers for a free kick. Teddy Sheringham has recovered from a rib injury. And here's the cross taken by De Hoy. Petrescu. Zola's made an early run. He could get on the end of this. And there's Mark Hughes. Would you believe it? Chelsea are performing their old Trafford magic all over again. And Mark Hughes, for the tenth time in the history of this fixture between Chelsea and his old club, scores a goal. It's only the third time he's done it for Chelsea, and it's the first time he's done it at Old Trafford in their colours. That's a magnificent ball for Petrescu. Zola and then wrong foot. Schmeichel, who I thought was going to get it, went through his hands. And Mark Hughes says thanks very much. Well, there's an air of disbelief around Old Trafford. And somewhere back there, the dreadlocked one looks on in quiet satisfaction. Neville's got past the serve. Three waiting for the cross. It was behind Cole and too far in front of Sheringham. Beckham. Solskjaer. And Sheringham! Again, it's Lambert on his debut. And he could have marked it with a goal. Maybe he should have marked it with a goal. Schmeichel is dysfunctional. Beckham, first cross repelled by Lasseau. Second by Poyet. Mark Hughes. Beckham. 
Oh, Solskjaer with a chance, which he's taken quite beautifully. Beckham's cross, but what a peach of a finish from Solskjaer. Well, again, a cross has been the undoing for Chelsea, but what a first touch, and the minute it left his foot, it was in under the crossbar, all the way, De Hoy, no chance, a quite great goal, that. How they've missed that little man. Lasso. Action of a terrific game of football. Four goals, eight bookings, arguments are plenty, some wonderful play above all else and honours even between the Premiership champions and the FA Cup holders who were twice ahead. Wonderful equaliser by Solskjaer. But this run of Chelsea's at Old Trafford is extended still further. Rude Hullet goes off with mixed emotions, one imagines. However many times United changed the locks at Old Trafford,